And if he signs me, then I'll be along. How I hope and pray that he will. But today I am still just a bill. Takes me back to Saturday morning. Yes, it does. All right. Hey, getting a bill passed is no easy task. For most senators, sponsoring just one bill that actually makes it to the president's desk is a pretty good year. Right. So take note. In the last two years, Utah Senator Orrin Hatch has passed 45 that became law. Okay. Dave met up with him in Washington this week where he was about to hit a major milestone. Tomorrow, Utah's Orrin Hatch will become the longest serving Republican senator in American history. Along with that, come cries from folks who think he's been here too long and that he should maybe hang it up. But it also comes with an impressive record of getting things done, crossing the aisle and working with Democrats and representing the state of Utah like no one ever has here in Washington. You're up pretty early, aren't you? From the moment he arrives, 7.30 yeah. right on time, <laughs> Senator Orrin Hatch almost never stops moving. When you're third in line for the presidency, there's almost always a line for your attention. He was in the hall when I was Look, in the And on this day, his typical busy schedule is complicated with a very high profile confirmation hearing. I am ready for this job. Hatch and his colleagues on the Senate Judiciary Committee spend three and a half hours questioning Senator Jeff Sessions, President elect Donald Trump's pick for Attorney General. Then a quick break for lunch and a policy meeting and facing a crowd of questions from Capitol reporters at every turn. Question about the Sessions hearing. Who follow him all the way to the underground shuttle. I'm hopeful to be before. Later, two more hours of Q&A with Sessions. Am I right that you supported reauthorizing the Violence Against Women Act? Chairman, how are you? A one-on-one -on -one with another Trump nominee. Thanks so much, Senator. I'll see you soon. And when most lawmakers are leaving for the day, we finally get our chance to sit down. This is the limo ride underneath and talk to the senator one-on-one. -on -one. You were elected in 1977, right. and you are still here. How have you pulled that off? Well, you know, I've just worked my butt off, and, and the people have been kind enough to keep sending me back. You've passed over 700 bills, more than anybody. <laughs> yeah. Uh, is seniority that big of a deal around here? Well, it helps. There's no use kidding. Uh, being a committee chairman helps, and I've been a committee chairman three different times right. with three major committees, so it's helpful. There's no question about that. His fellow senators agree. Hatch's 40-plus years helps him do things other senators simply can't. Senator Hatch is a Westerner. You know, some of us other Westerners that uh, work all the time trying to get Western issues in front, it's his seniority that makes a big difference. He is somebody who is really a mature, experienced respected voice throughout the entire Senate. It's very important. The role he plays is critically important. How is it that uh, in all this time, and we've just been here a day, yeah. and we can feel the power of this place. Oh, yeah. How has that not gone to your head? Oh, I, I, I think if you're really good, you've got to acknowledge that you're good because of others. you got to acknowledge that you're good because of a higher power. And I want to always be humble enough that I can have that extra help. I think he feels like this is what he's supposed to do, that he's needed there, and that he's doing what he's called to do. Back home in Utah, Hatch's oldest daughter says now that he's served seven terms, it's anyone's guess if he'll run again. You know, we used to project to the kids as siblings and think 2,000 will be it, you know? <laughs> he'll be done. Um, so now, I don't know. I can't say. I don't know. There's a real question, you know, what should I do? I, I think, you know, if you ask the average Utah, and they'd say, well, you he, he ought to retire. Uh, because that's just the way people think. I never thought I'd be here. It's now 40 years. It'll be 42 at the end of this term. But one of the things that, that haunts me is Am I letting my state down? Am I letting my church down? Am I letting my family down? Am I letting your family down by not staying here and not doing what I know I can do? Listen, I'm tired. You are. Your lifestyle just runs me ragged. <laughs> A day in the life of this 82-year-old senator finally comes to an end at 7 p.m., nearly 12 hours after it began. But as he has for the last 40 years, he'll be up early the next day to do it all again. I really feel indebted to the people of Utah for sticking with me and for caring for me enough to be their senator. I don't want to ever let them down, and I won't.
as long as I'm here, and look, if I can't do this job, I will retire, there's no question, but I can do it. So while Hatch becomes the longest serving Republican tomorrow, he's still got a ways to go to catch the Democrats. In fact, seven Democrats have him beat with the longest serving 51 years. But after spending a day on the run with him here in Washington, I'll tell you what, he's very impressive. In the nation's capital, Dave McCann, KSL 5 News. Very interesting, Dave, thanks.